always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. We continue to track the strong thunderstorms up in South Dakota. Winds over 90 miles an hour and hail up to four inches in diameter with these storms. This will coalesce into a line, move through South Dakota, then southern Minnesota, and then into Wisconsin for uh, tomorrow morning, and then to West Michigan during the late afternoon and evening. And some of those storms could possibly be severe. In the meantime, we'll stay dry tonight and tomorrow morning. If you got some errands to run and you're back by about 2 o'clock, you should be okay. Storms are possible uh, mid afternoon through the evening period here, and that'll be followed by very hot weather. For Tuesday and Wednesday, quite humid, could have heat advisories. This is the latest severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, this is for tomorrow. A slight or number two risk in the yellow, and a number one, that's a marginal risk, a lower risk in the green color. We expect this to be expanded a little bit with the uh, overnight update, which occurs at around 2 a.m., and again, I'll have that on my blog once it comes out. A medium chance for uh, heavy rain with these storms, a high chance for damaging wind, at least isolated damaging wind. Uh, the risk not zero for hail and tornadoes, but it is low. And again, the best timing on that mid-afternoon uh, through the evening period. Uh, this is the risk of a tornado uh, within 25 miles of a given point. It's at 5% in the southern counties and then 2% and then very low as you head off toward the north. If you do get any tornadoes, it would like, they would likely be small with damage similar to what you would find from strong thunderstorm winds. Uh, the uh, risk of a severe thunderstorm report for wind damage is greater at 15%, basically off to the south and southwest of Grand Rapids. So again, as this uh, day unfolds, we're dry in the morning, and then here come the thunderstorms through Wisconsin into the Ludington area and finally into the Grand Rapids area. Computer's been pretty consistent about bringing them in during the late afternoon and evening. And then they race off to the south. Look at the storm heading through Battle Creek here at about 7 o'clock. We'll continue to track these throughout the day. We'll have uh, team coverage on this for you. Uh, lingering thunder showers developing north of Lansing will push off to the east, and that'll open the floodgates for all this warm and sunshiny weather that will occur here. One more danger with these storms. Uh, when you get a very strong wind pushing the water of Lake Michigan against the shore, it can cause what's called a sash. That's S-A-S-H with a long A. Uh, the water rises as that wind pushes the water toward shore, and then as the storm exits, the wind turns around and that water flows back toward the middle of the lake, creating some very dangerous currents. So remember, after a storm, uh, stay out of the water of Lake Michigan for a couple of hours at least until the lake really settles down. Forecast details, uh, uh, showers and storms here tomorrow afternoon and evening. Heat advisories are possible for Tuesday and Wednesday, but after that, the weather looks very nice for the LPGA golf tournament. Uh, temperatures will be down and the humidity will as well.